Boo's watching from his window. These two cats are still arch enemies. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's about 10.30 a.m. at my Grandma Ferrell's house. And look, here's Buddy. I was just walking out the front door and Buddy was sitting on the other side of it. Hello, Buddy. How are you? It's very cold out today. Buddy likes the door. Hello, Buddy. Are you hungry? You're hungry, Buddy? Yeah. You want some food, Buddy? Would you like to eat? Buddy just rubbed against my knee. Now he's rubbing against the door. Hello, Buddy. How are you? Buddy has very thick fur. Hello, Buddy. Buddy's a happy cat. Although Buddy looks a little scared, the tail's kind of big. Hello, Buddy. Buddy, are you a boy or a girl? Turn around. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. How are you? Pets or no pets? No pets, right? I put my finger out and he looks like he's gonna bite it. You gonna bite my finger? Buddy, are you gonna bite my finger? Hmm? No, you're a nice boy or a girl. You're a nice cat. Nice cats don't bite people. Okay, buddy. Okay, move over. Move over, buddy. Okay. Let's go back outside, come on. Move over. It's okay. I know, you're hungry. You want some food? You are going to give you some food. You're going to get some food. And some water. Yeah, we're going to feed you. And you actually even have a heated cat shelter. But nobody has put it out for you yet. Okay. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? You're okay. If I had a brush, I would brush this cat right now. I don't have a brush, buddy, and you bit Grandpa and you bit Grandma. I know you didn't mean to bite them. But I don't want you to bite me also, okay? You're okay. Buddy, what's taking so long? We want to smell. Oh, you're running away. You want to rub up against the camera? Okay. Okay, buddy, I think you're a girl. From what I could see, you look like a girl, buddy. Buddy, are you a girl? Buddy, you're a girl? Buddy, turn around so I could see your backside again. Yep. It's a she. Okay, buddy, you're going to get some food, okay? Okay. Yeah. How are you today, buddy? Did you have a Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas, buddy.
Buddy, you sound like your cousin Hydrox. You sound a lot like your cousin Hydrox. Do you know that? Do you know who your cousin Hydrox is? Hmm? Do you? Hello, buddy. Buddy's a girl. Buddy, look at the food that you got. Look at that. You got wet food and you got dry food. You got a lot of food. It is 6.50 p.m. I just got home and Hydrox is outside meowing at me. Boo's inside meowing at me. And all the cats are happy I'm back and they can't wait for dinner. So first thing I'm going to do is give Hydrox some food. He's going to get a can of Trader Joe's tuna. Here's Hydrox. He's waiting by the bowl. Hydrox is saying, Hydrox is saying, put some food in the bowl. Would you like some food, Hydrox? There's no zoom on this camera at all. Okay. I just put like practically a whole can of the Trader Joe's tuna in here. Hey, Hydrox. You happy? Happy boy? Okay, eat your food. Eat your food, Hydrox. I backed up about five feet and he went right to the food. He should eat most of that. 6.56 p.m. and Hydrox is still eating his food. I just walked into the living room and I found this. This had to happen sometime uh, today, sometime in the afternoon because I checked the cameras this morning and Boo was actually laying on top of this cat tower. Somehow it got knocked over. Let's see what happened to the automatic feeder in Boo's room. This is empty. The entire feeder is empty. Boo ate everything, everything. And what's going on with these three feeders? Did the cats eat all of their food down here also? Okay, here's number one. It's empty. Here's number two. It's empty. And here's number three. This is empty too. It looks like every meal was a success. So I am not um, turning these feeders off because I need to use them again tomorrow. Um, I have another family uh, event to attend and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean out the trays and I'm gonna give the cats breakfast um, in these and uh, they'll also get their dinner in these and everything so um, before I go to bed tonight I'll set these up with their breakfast and then tomorrow before I leave um, I'll set these up with their dinner again so um, yeah that should work hello boo Boo, did you miss me? Hello, Stella. Stella, did you miss me? Did you miss me? Every time I checked in on the cats, they were sleeping in their beds. So, the cats got a lot of good sleep. This is a night light that I left on for the cats. It's an LED light, runs on batteries, and it looks like a neon cat. Isn't that cool? This is like an LED version of a neon light. And uh, it gives off a really nice warm glow. And this makes a really perfect night light for the cats. It is 9.30 p.m. right now, and for dinner, the cats had a quarter of a can of the Nature's Variety Instinct uh, chicken pate in a can. They did not really like that. I think Stella ate the most. Um, the rest of the cats, I don't even think they finished their portion. They also had um, a quarter of a squeeze up each on their food to entice them to eat it and uh, it didn't really work. So then I gave them each a little bit of crunchies. Then I have been dealing with like a home emergency for the past two hours I came home and my car would not start. So um, I had to deal with that because I needed to move my car. Um, but that is taken care of for the time being. 
but it was just, um, you know, I did not come home and expect to have to uh, uh, deal with that for a few hours. So the cats just got um, a little plate of crunchies each, and then they each shared a squeeze up, and I am just about to give each one of them a meaty stick. So tonight for dinner, we're having like a junk food dinner for cats. So uh, this is like a little holiday party for them. Like on Christmas, you know, I went to a family gathering and ate a bunch of food that I normally don't eat, but it's Christmas, so it's okay. And that's what the cats are doing today. They're having crunchies, they're having squeeze ups, they're having canned food, they're having meaty sticks. Who knows what else they're gonna have. Right, Stella? All the cats are eating a piece of a meaty stick. So what I have to do is I take one meaty stick and I cut it into four pieces and each of the cats gets a little piece. And Splash is the only one who has not eaten his yet. So we're gonna wait for him to eat his piece. And once he eats his piece of meaty stick, and then I'll do the same thing for another meaty stick. They're each allowed one meaty stick, so I will do this for four meaty sticks. Eat your meaty stick, Splash. I think it's about 9.30 a.m. right now. I just came outside to give Hijack some food. I'm giving him three of the homemade raw nuggets um, that are made for him, along with some water and some herbs. Hydrox is hanging out by the side of the house. It's pretty cold today, but hopefully he has some warmth in the sun. Okay, Hydrox, I'm gonna give you some food, okay? Yep. Here you go. There's your food. Gonna eat it? He should eat all of that. The last time I fed him this homemade food, like he absolutely loved it. So he should eat all of it. After I put the water in it, it almost has like a gelatinous texture to it. There are still chunks of meat in it from the food processor, so it does give him some things to chew. But he didn't have any problems with this a few days ago, so hopefully he enjoys it again today. Good boy, Hydrox. Eat your food. I just filled up the water bowl in the Thermo Kitty Cafe with some warm water. And Hydrox has eaten about half of that food already. I mean, he is just really eating it fast so I hope he doesn't make himself sick from eating too fast but he really really likes it see he's chewing it chewing it but he has no problems eating it absolutely no problems eating it Good boy, Hydrox. Boo's watching from his window. These two cats are still arch enemies. Hydrox loves this food. Look at this. Hydrox licked that bowl clean. There is not a speck of food left over. It is 7.36 p.m. I just got home. And I'm just about to give Hydrox some food because he came out of the shelter. When I got home, he came out of the shelter, and look at this, like right now I'm about three feet away from him, and he's just sitting here. Look at this. He's not running. How are you? I have food in my hand. Would you like some food, Hydrox? Want some food? Are you hungry? Would you like to eat? So for dinner, Hydrox is having the same exact thing that he had for breakfast, which is three of the homemade raw food scoops that were made just for him, along with some additional herbs and some water. And that's uh, the same kind of gelatinous consistency. It's not actually a soup, it's more like a stew. 
with plenty of meaty bits in there that he can chew on and um, lots of good minerals in there I hope you enjoy your food Hydrox it is 8 p.m. man I was just outside and Hydrox ate everything he did not leave a thing in the bowl he came back and he finished it all off good boy Hydrox you ate your food Right now it is 4.42 p.m. and I just got back from going to the post office and it's just starting to get dark out right now and as I walked across the patio to the back door Hydrox walks out of the shelter and across the patio you know toward me and he said hello to me I said hello Hydrox and then he meowed at me but it really sounded like he said hello so I think Hydrox's personality is actually starting to come out a little bit. Like, he's starting to get a little bit of personality. So, I'm showing you this puddle because it's still raining. It's been raining all day. Hydrox walked through the rain from the shelter to the dry strip on the side of the house, and he's sitting there right now because he wants me to bring out some food for him. I gave him some breakfast earlier today under the patio table where it's sheltered. There you see. He's like, when are you bringing me my dinner? Okay, Hydrox, you want to eat? Hydrox, want some food? Okay, I'll bring you some food. And here's Boo. Boo's very upset at the thought of Hydrox eating his food. Don't worry, Boo. Hydrox is not eating your food. Hydrox has special food for him. You'll still have plenty of food, Boo. It is 8.45 p.m. right now. There's Stella, there's Splash, and Boo was laying right here. And Boo just did this thing to Splash where Boo rolled onto his back and he put his paw out towards Splash. So Boo like exposed his tummy to Splash and he exposed like his underside of his neck to Splash and he put his paw out to Splash and it looked like, you know, he wanted to play with Splash except Splash looked at him like, what are you doing? Like, you know... I don't trust you one bit. So then I said, oh my gosh, maybe I should go get the camera, which is what I did. And then Boo followed me in the other room. But yeah, that's what just happened. I've never seen Boo do that to Splash before. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos. And please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.